Days ago. Scott, you require 112. Taylor for 112 to stop Ross from getting a shot at that very number. Double top. Game shot on a second and That's leg. why we read him. Taylor. Because he's just very, very good. He gets two darts at the target Game that cost him the opening leg. leg. Scott Taylor. He could. I've had this one done 4 0. Scott Taylor's won a weekly title here. Game and he's won and the, the first game of the Scott night Taylor. as well in Group B. That really was a very decent display from Scott Taylor, averaging over 90 in that contest. And that's what he's been doing all week long. But you're never out of a Group B, certainly not after the first fixture. However, so he is 3-0 down. David Evans. David, you require this is an opportunity 60. for David Evans to get the match wrapped up and start with a bit of perfection. This has been very solid. Game shot. Extremely match, solid. David Evans. That is a 14 dart leg to add to the 51 darts that he threw in the first three legs. That really is an excellent start to his campaign. Averaging over 92. Up for another big power leg. Double 14 for a 1 2 Game 1 out. On and what leg. a start Lee this Clark. is. A second time. First dart missed at a double, Game but shot. it's followed by success on tops. And Lee Cox has just averaged 98.42 and has just sent out a statement to this group. Earlier in the night, he said that maybe he was the one that was being asked the biggest question so far. We've just Got seen it from Lee Cox, 98.42. Taylor's got tops again, and he Game hits it again. A Scott remarkable Taylor. doubling performance at the top of the shop from Scott Taylor. Four double tops hit. And he's hit them all with his first attempt as well. That is incredible. Big ask for Lee, but it's a possibility. And now, it's become slightly easier. Much easier. Oh, so close. My word, when that left his hand, he thought that was in. That was a fabulous try. Heart and mouth stuff. Forever two's got double eight. Game shot on a and there's another one of those trebles Evans. that you don't necessarily have to go for. It's Lee to throw for the first, first time tonight as well, we Game on. give it the build-up in terms of how close and competitive this group's going to be. And the first four games have been very one-sided. One hundred and eight. And we do know that Cox has got a blitz in him. Mistakes. That's not a mistake. And neither is that. A six leg. That's a 12 Lee data Clark. from Cox's second of the night. Spend an awful lot of time on double five earlier today. Match dart at double two. Game shot and the match. I think there's Ted a little Everett. bit of relief in that one for Ted Everts. Lee Cox did everything he could, but unfortunately, he just ran out of legs in the end. And the quality from Everton at the start of that final leg gave him the breathing space he needed. One of my favourite numbers, 62. Double top for 2-1 for Monty. Game shot on the third leg. Probably doesn't Ross even Montgomery. like that nickname. Double 16 for 3-3. Three, three. Game shot on a six Picture leg. perfect David and we go the distance. It does get harder and harder the more that the results don't come your way. This is the third fixture for Ross Montgomery and he's yet to pick up a victory. But here comes that pressure 100. from David Evans. Re absolutely level at the moment. I'd much rather have 341 after six than 342. And against the darts for Evans as well because everybody knows now you've been watching top level darts for a period of time 342 cannot be done in six darts but 341 can most definitely be done in nine 140 that's why the switch to the 17s is being used a lot more now rather than the 19s with that last start exceptional 140 from Ross and if he wins this game because he left 341 instead of 342 like Dave did. It just goes to show the fine margins we're talking about here. 100. 
Rossi require 101. This is for 341 in nine darts. That's a good one. That's a brilliant 60. Game shot. And, and that is 341 in nine darts. Right on the script, and Montgomery is off and running. He has got a problem, though, even with winning two points there and denying David Evans the chance to get to four. His leg difference is still in the minus column by some distance. He's still got work to do. Digs deeper. And look at his body when he throws that dart. Oh, my. 60. Change that flight. You've only just gone and whacked it twice. Scott Game Taylor shot. is and in the, the wind. Scott Taylor. Everybody else has got two points, but now ST has got six. He is getting very, very close to qualification already. He definitely could win this game. <laughs> Hang on a minute. This is rather impressive from both players in leg three. Double six. 72. That could be costly. Lee require 101. When he played against Montgomery, it was 101 checkout that got Ross leg seven. It's not going to get Lee Cox leg number three. It was that way as well, weren't it? One treble 20 tops. 13. David, you require 12. And next door to double 13 is double six. And a 3 0 lead with that 13 data to what's been a very difficult night. Double six again. Game shot. And, and that, that is a 4 0 win Evans. for the man known as the Duck Man. And he's got four points going into Friday night. And with that 4 0 victory, his second of the evening, because he beat Ted Everts a little bit earlier. That was not a pleasant experience, I might add. Just getting there was a bit of a task. Yeah, Ross gets there on leg. tops. Ross Montgomery. Memories of the end of his previous game when he beat David Evans by four legs to three with that 101 checkout. This should have been much easier task for Ross Montgomery. Maybe he just likes to do things the hard way. Oh, yeah, it's a haymaker from Montgomery. <laughs> Double eight. He's got a perfect guide. No score. But a shot that's bust. And that might just be the invitation that Everts needs. He may be feeling his looks about to change. So instead of coming back with three darts in his hand for double eight. 120. He'll be coming back for 76, just like Ted Everett. To... His luck was changing one way, it's gone back the other. It's double eight again. It's not deja vu. 68. And it's not a match winning Danger shot. That's now four 76. darts for the match. Missed by the boss. Can Everts find 76? It's the third time we've seen it in this same leg. And we're not going to get a shot at tops on all three shots. It's going to be a last leg decider. Leg, what a weird effort. leg that was. You miss your shot. You give your opponent a shot. And he could walk away with four points to your two. Everts shot. gets the and four the points. And the closest match that we've had all night long goes to Super Ted and Montgomery. When he graces the hockey again on Friday night, he will have a chance at revenge against one of Warwickshire's finest. He doesn't have the longest streak of wins. Scott Taylor has got a 1-4-1 though for a 15 Scott data. However, Game shot that's a superhero leg. shot Scott from Scott Taylor. Taylor. And the game and the goes on no more. Lee Cox, a fine effort there. Brought it back with a hat-trick of 140s. Give himself an opportunity. Two darts 
in hand to get that back to a level game and make himself favourite with the advantage of throw. But it's Scott Taylor who gets over the line in the end. A nice 13 data from Scott Taylor, who is now Mr. Perfect. He has gone through the card today. He's continued that form from Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in his Group A campaign. But now he's turning those performances into results. Indeed he has. Scott, many congratulations. Four wins from four, and it just felt like a real good night at the office for yourself. Yeah, we're finding the first out a few bounce outs earlier on, but I don't know what was going on with them, but played pretty well overall, so I'm happy with how I played. So. I mean, the, it really was the whole package tonight. The power scoring was there, but the doubling was absolutely delightful. Yeah, it's something I've been playing really, really well away from Challenge Tour and Q score. I didn't really perform how I've been doing, but I'm happy with how they're going at the minute. So was it almost like a point to prove this week in the fact that you know what you are capable of, but maybe not shown it to you? Only potential? to myself, though, really. Only to myself. I, I know I've been playing really, really well, but um, just not coming out when I need it to, really. So did yesterday kind of give you a bit of a be in the bonnet, considering that you're in the race and you just dropped out of the it last? It was more Tuesday. I know I messed up Tuesday. I played really bad, so it was my own fault. You played with real venom tonight. We were looking at it from the camera that points at you, and we saw borderline anger from you and you were taking it out on the size I wouldn't have wanted to be that bored tonight that's for sure it seems it seems to when I when I throw them harder it just seems to go in better so try it try as much do that as much as I can really well if you throw them any harder than he did tonight that board's in trouble that's for sure <laughs> well played <laughs> we're going to show some of your best moments from tonight this was the the one for one out against Lee just there and let's say those ton plus finishes and things like that, that was really part of your Arsenal referee wasn't it yeah, the tops have been winning tonight, so mm. I'll take, take that every time it comes. Top, if top goes in, I'll normally win, so I'll take it every time. You won one of your games tonight with four double tops out of four shots. Is that against Dave? Yeah, that Dave, doesn't happen very often, right? Don't want to lose to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and he, you've, you've been very close with Dave for years. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, you know, there's been a marriage there and a best man. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, it is. It, it's, I was the best man at his wedding, like, but um, you, can't, you can't be going home losing to one of your best mates, can you? So, <laughs> <laughs> never live that down. Just say that the loyalty there has gone a different way, is yeah. it, on the back of tonight? <laughs> so, obviously, a good night tonight into tomorrow. I suppose the case of just try and carry on as much as possible and build some momentum possibly through the Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, the job's not done yet. I've got, I want to win all eight games, mm -hmm. so just take one game as it comes, throw one down as it comes, and that's all I can do, really. Scott, many congratulations yes. on tonight. We'll let you go. Yes, many man. congratulations yes. on this evening. Yes, All right, let's have a look at what else has happened this evening then, Paul, because it has been a blockbuster night of darts, it is fair to say. These are the results then from the 10 matches that we've seen. And interestingly, when you have a look at that graphic, only two games went against the darts tonight. They were both won by Scott Taylor. It tells you a lot, doesn't it? And especially when there were so many breaks of throw in that last match as well. Lee Cox, who has only won one game tonight, should not go to bed disappointed because he's thrown the kitchen sink at players and it just goes to show how really strong this group is. But I love the defiance and I love the, the spirit that Scott has brought to this group. It's one of, I will not take any defeat on the chin. I am going to get to Saturday night for a sixth consecutive time. I love the way he plays the game. He plays it aggressively. He plays it with real vigor. I've used that word quite a few times tonight. But the fact that he was the only person capable of breaking a game tonight tells you everything you need to know. And just listening to him in that interview there, it just feels like a different man to maybe the one we saw even 12 months ago on this stage. Maybe. If we think about what Scott has done in his career, he's won one Challenge Tour event. He's played for his country in the WDF once. Is that a fair assimilation with what kind of talent he's got absolutely not I severely rate that guy mm -hmm. I think he should be up there on the tour on a regular basis doing the kind of thing that Ricky Evans is doing that sort of ilk somewhere between say 32 and 48 in the world that's where he should be minimum for me but when he's got his game clicking he is a dangerous customer I'm just glad that we've got him here because so we can watch him and listen to him in interviews like that he's been great tonight he yeah, certainly has. Well, let's talk elsewhere then. Begin with Ross Montgomery. First night here on the Super Series stage. How do you think he'll assess things overall? I think he will probably look at tonight the same way that uh, James Wilson looked at Group C two weeks ago. He said, ooh, this is pretty mm -hmm. difficult. And considering the level that Ross brought at times, 
he had the kitchen sink thrown at him and wasn't able to do anything in the first couple of games. But walking away with two points instead of four, that will be quite bitter. He should have won that second game in the second half against Ted Everts. And I think even Super Ted is trying to figure out how indeed he got away with 4-3 in that one. But Montgomery is one of those players who always has this ability to dig deep and he's going to have to come Friday night. In terms of Ted Everts, I, I suppose it must be really frustrating for him at the minute. He was in cruise control of Group A, drops into Group B, and you could just sense that tonight, again, just didn't quite go the way he would have liked it or liked it to have gone. No, I don't think he started very well at all but he was able to respond after that. Sometimes you've got to have this quality of getting points maybe when you're not playing your best darts. Now, Ted is not playing his best darts. Mm -hmm. He may be smarting from the fact that he didn't win the Group A situation with Biowetsky and Taylor uh, all in the mix. However, he's walked away with four points tonight. And did he warrant four points with his performance levels? Probably not. But he's got them, and he's got a great chance of making Saturday now. He most certainly does. Just overall, before we look at the table, what would be your assessment of the night as a whole? <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyable. I think where every now and again we, we talk about how great a group could be. Tonight has not disappointed. Eight of the ten games have been won with 90-plus averages. We haven't had massive ton-plus averages, but we've had an awful lot of quality in that 90-plus range, which is very likely with this kind of quality. And... We were talking about Taylor, one of our, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, colleagues here at the Super Series, came up with an incredible statistic. More than two-thirds of the games this week have been won with 90-plus averages. Going into Friday, that is remarkable. Some may say that was a tailor-made stat. Anyway, <laughs> less of the corny puns. Let's get straight into the table, shall we? <laughs> Tell you what's happened at the halfway point of the group. Scott Taylor leads the way, 8 points to his name. One victory tomorrow night will guarantee his place into the finals. David Evans and Ted Everts on four points. Lee Cox was not gone with a one win, but goodness me, is it all going to be to play for tomorrow? Yeah, I think Scott's in a great position, but I love his attitude. One of experience and knowing that he's still got a job to do he wants to win all the games and that's the way you should approach it don't think about the fact that i just need to win one or two win them all get the job done and then just spoil everybody else's party taylor's gonna make it as for everybody else it's all to play for should be a fun day tomorrow. Thank you for your company today. We'll do it all again tomorrow. One o'clock, we're going to restart on the, super, uh, on, yeah, on the Super Series YouTube channel. Well, Taylor, top of the pile as far as Group B is concerned, is top sitting. was delightful in a few weeks' time. The players involved will be hoping that their tops are in top shape. It's double 18. Oh, oh, it's it's the the perfect night. Darton has been threatening all day. He is Jim McEwen! Oh, and yeah. Look that. Shot. And so does he. The way he reaches the final. Double 12. But Kevin King Painter and to seal Kevin the spot Painter. in style. Game and that is a 170 checkout. Robert Thornton. It's double six. Game shot on the fifth leg. What a tidy shot Rashford. that is. Game shot on the fifth Masterful leg. Masterful from Mark Dubridge. Dubridge. 